so you've implemented all your security controls. Cool. But are they actually working or did you just throw glitter on a dumpster fire? This is episode four of applying the risk management framework in GRC. And we've made it to step five, assess. At this point, your system should be configured to meet all the requirements of the controls you selected. Implementation means nothing if your controls don't actually do what they're supposed to do. We know you said MFA is on, but now we gotta verify. This is where assessors come in, either from your own company or an independent third party. They're gonna look at things like, is your system collecting logs that it should and at the right frequencies? Is MFA enforced for all users. I know I've made a joke about that already, but that one comes up so much. Does your backup system even back up? And if they find controls that are incomplete, ineffective, or not documented well, congrats, you've earned yourself a poem. A poem outlines a system's weakness and how you're gonna fix it with clear milestones and deadlines. And sometimes you'll run into controls that you just can't implement. Maybe it'll break your system or cost too much or require a time machine to fix. Those situations, you'll be opening a poem for a risk acceptance where leadership will sign off and say, yeah, we know this is a risk, but we're willing to live with it for now. Step five is a reality check. And as a GRC analyst or ISO, your job is not just to sit there and watch the assessment unfold. You're the guide to make sure that the assessors get access to the right people, evidence, and documentation. You might even be in the room defending your own implementation statement, so be ready. Completing your assessment means that you're almost ready to start operating your system. But before you go set up a LAN party to celebrate, you need authorization. Not for the LAN party, but for the system. Actually, you probably need it for both, but either way, we'll talk about that in episode five. See you there.